This is Evolution's brand new R255 TBL Plus table saw, and since being released just a few weeks ago, it's already sold out everywhere online. In this video, I'll be seeing what all this hype is about to allow you to decide whether this is the right table saw for you. I'll also be sharing how you can get yourself a free general wood blade at the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Starting us off, what's included in the box? Well, Evolution have not held back here by including a lot of accessories. There's an included push stick that is nicely mounted inside the front of the table saw. There's an included blade guard that can be removed with the use of a flathead screwdriver, as well as a built-in riving knife that will prevent smaller offcuts being flung back towards you. And this riving knife can be removed by flicking this switch down here and then pulling it out without the use of any tools. It's also got this fully metal throat plate that I've got to say sits very flush with the top of the table saw. And if for some reason it didn't sit flush, then there are four adjustable screws underneath that allow you to calibrate it. It also comes with this miter gauge, which has a surprising amount of features. Not only does it have this extender here, which gives you more surface area to rest your timber up against, but it also comes with a clamp that can be pushed into the miter gauge to hold down pieces of timber and prevent them moving around. It comes with this very cool outfeed table that can be used to rest your longer pieces of timber on when you're cutting them to prevent them falling away from you. It's got this dust extraction adapter which can be used to angle the sawdust into a bucket. It comes with two adjustable wrenches as well as an Allen key. Both the base version of the saw as well as the plus version allow you to attach the optional stand for moving it around. The really nice thing about all of these accessories is everything has a home so when you're not using them you can store them safely on the saw. Now this saw does have a lot of features to run through, but without a doubt, the single best improvement between the previous and the new Evolution table saw has got to be the rack and pinion system. For those that haven't seen it before, essentially what this means is you can unlock the back and front fence rails at the same time, and then using this knob on the front, effortlessly change the distance that the fence is from the blade. As far as any fence locking system goes, the rack and pinion system is pretty much universally agreed to be one of the best out there. It's got a lever on the front here that can be spun, and that will raise the height of the blade to your desired cutting depth. You can also flick this orange switch here, which will allow you to move the saw from zero degrees right up to 45 degrees. And one really nice thing about the mechanism and the way this works is that this wheel here can be spun to carefully adjust to the desired angle. And this is really helpful if you've ever tried to get it on an odd angle, you know how tricky it can be without this. So I really like that they've added this in. And as well as having a on button, you've also got this stop switch here, which means if you are in an emergency, it could easily be hit to switch the saw off. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned the included miter gauge, but one really nice thing about how this works is you can use this orange toggle here to screw this into the folding panel. And then underneath the surface of the table saw, you can pull down this lever here, and that allows you to move this folding section of the table saw to give you an additional 350 millimeters of cutting capacity when you're making cross cuts. And this is a really nice innovation by Evolution and it's fairly unique in the market. You're not gonna see this on a lot of table saws. And that was so easy that I can definitely see this preventing you needing to actually build your own crosscut sled. You're also going to get included Evolution's multi-material cutting blade, which allows you to cut through a variety of materials, including wood, metal, and plastic. Personally, I don't have the need to cut those materials often, so I'll probably find myself upgrading to a fine wood blade in the next couple of weeks. And this is a 255 millimeter blade, which is going to give you a maximum depth cut of 86 millimeters and with the fence fully extended you're going to get a maximum width cut of 550 millimeters but evolution have included two extra pins which can be moved over to give you an additional 100 millimeters of cutting capacity and it also has a handy resting shelf which means that you can rest your timber on it to prevent it sagging through this gap here and i've got to say this outfeed table has got me very excited which is because it solves an ongoing challenge that i have which is that i usually use my table saw in the garden which means it's not mounted inside a larger workbench so if i'm cutting longer pieces of timber they often do fall away from me this can be easily pushed out, so when I'm cutting through longer pieces of timber, it can nicely rest on it. Deep. 
And as you can see, I've been able to cut this nice long length of timber without it falling away, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> Now, overall, I would say the accuracy of all of the calibrations has been quite good. The angle of the fence, as well as the angle of the blade were accurate. The bevel indicator on the front of the saw was also set up correctly, as well as the angle of the blade to the front of the fence. And it is worth pointing out that if the blade was not aligned correctly, Evolution have included this toggle underneath the saw that can be used to adjust the angle of your blade. There were, however, two adjustments that I did need to make upon getting this out of the box. So you can see here that the riving knife clearly isn't aligned to the blade, which is what is causing me to not be able to push this piece of wood through the entire length of the cut. Luckily, there is a way to adjust this, which just requires a Allen key on the back two bolts on the inside here. They can be adjusted and I am pretty sure with that adjustment made that that will prevent that happening. I did also find myself having to adjust the little distance calibration here. It was off by about three or four mil. <laughs> Now this morning I have been testing this saw on all of the common timber types including some 4x2, some thin pieces of oak board as well as some sapelli and I've got to say that all of the cuts have come out really nice here exactly the sort of standard that you would expect from any table saw. So overall, it's gonna do a very good job no matter what you're cutting. And for those that are interested in how this saw deals with dust extraction, here is a side by side of me using it with and without so you can decide for yourself. Now it is worth noting that Evolution are selling two separate models of this saw. There is the basic version and then the plus model as well. Now on the basic version, you are going to get a 1650 watt motor and a two meter cable. But for an extra 50 pounds, you can upgrade to the plus model, which will mean you get access to an 1800 watt motor, an additional meter on the power cable, soft start, an electric brake, expanded dust extraction, the outfeed table, which I really like. I don't know if I've made that clear enough. And the top clamp on the miter saw. Now, I personally think for an extra 50 pounds, if those features are going to be useful to you, it is well worth the money. But that is a decision that you need to weigh up. As always, I'm going to end this review by talking about the things I particularly like and dislike about this particular tool. So starting us off, I love the outfeed table. That addresses a very particular challenge that I have had with all of my table saws, and this is a very neat way of resolving that particular problem. I also really like that all of the accessories on this saw can be mounted and everything has a home. Even the little things like the adjustable spanners and the Allen key that can be used to make micro adjustments all have a place on the base of the saw. I also really appreciate that Evolution have included an optional stand for people like me that regularly need to move it to different locations. And one of the beauties about this being optional and like on the Rage 5 is that if you do not need it, there is going to be a little bit of a saving there for you. And some of the things that I think could definitely be improved. Well, firstly, I'm gonna to have to call out the quality control coming out of the factory. I had to make two very crucial calibrations before this saw was ready to use. I also really dislike the included hose that attaches the blade guard to the extraction at the back. Look at it, just flopping about. I am not a big fan of these big floppy hoses dangling about everywhere, which is why I've not had it in throughout this entire video. So for me, this will just go on a shelf, never to be used again. <laughs> And with all of that being said, now it's time to address that big question. Do I think that the Evolution table saw is worth the money? Well, I'm going to say that given all of the included accessories, as well as the competitive price that this is being put up in the market, that yes, this is a great saw for you to consider purchasing. And given the fact that this saw sold out almost immediately online, says a lot about how popular this saw is likely to be. And as a thank you to all of my subscribers, you can get yourself a free general wood blade by using the link in the description of this video and then make sure to like this video because free stuff is cool and if this is your first time using a table saw then you're going to want to make sure you're aware of these common table saw mistakes by watching this video next until next time happy building